Well, we're talking this morning about a big event coming up on Pensacola Beach. We have Executive Chef Dennis Moore with Flounder Chowder House here. And we also have someone here to talk about the event. Yes, my name is Chase Cole. I'm a general manager at Flounder's Chowder House, but also representing the um, Beach Chamber for the Taste of the Beach. This year, our celebrity chef is Carla Hall. Um, it's a three-day event. Friday night is a ticket event, which unfortunately, if you don't have your tickets, is already sold out. Um, and that's a tasting with Carla Hall and some other beach chefs. And then on Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 4 um, is the actual Taste of the Beach. Um, restaurants from the whole Pensacola Beach area will be there. They're offering um, little snacks and food items, all for $5 or less. Um, Carla Hall will be doing a special um, cooking demonstration on Saturday at 1 p.m. And there will be kids events, snow cones for kids, cooking demonstration, live music on Sunday. Um, and it's just a great place to bring the family out for the weekend. And you were talking about all the different restaurants that are going to be there. And basically what's going to happen is you can try whatever sample that you want to. Is that how it works? Yes, everybody will have tents set up and they'll be serving food. A couple, usually one or two items per restaurant. And then you just walk around the pavilion right on Casino Beach and just go everywhere, try a couple little snacks and uh, get a little bit of everything for a good uh, economical value as well. Now I know Flounders is going to be one of the places that are participating, one of the restaurants participating. What do you, can you tell me what you're cooking? We're going to do our uh, famous seafood nachos. I don't know if you've been to Flounders. They're about five and a half, six pounds when they come out of the kitchen. We're going to do a smaller version of that, but it's, a, it's an over-the-top nacho with crab meat and steamed fish and shrimp and jalapenos and black beans and we're also going to do our signature key lime pie um, which we triple stack. You didn't stack. Bring any of that for me I this morning. Bring, I'm no, looking. Uh, <laughs> next year I will though. You know but it's it's a good everybody gets out on the beach everybody has a good time the chefs get to get out of the kitchen we don't get to do very often and you know it's a good experience for us to get out and mingle with some people that we don't normally meet because we're always stuck in the kitchen. Right. right. Well speaking of being stuck in the kitchen this morning we're going to get started on this our next cooking segment but let's talk about what you're cooking this morning. We have a nice I don't know if we can get an overhead view of what we have laid out here. This is some a Gulf Coast favorite. Correct. We're going to do a traditional New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Uh, you guys hear references to size of shrimp, 21, 25, 10s, 91, 10s. You laid them out for us, huh? Correct. <laughs> the, uh, these are about the biggest shrimp you can buy. These are 10s, which means there's 10 to a pound. So as you go up the scale, 100, 110s, or 110, 100 to a pound. So if you ever hear a reference that, the smaller the number, the bigger the size of the seafood product. Now, barbecue shrimp, it can get a little messy. Is uh -huh. it going to get messy in this kitchen? You know, I'm not doing the second or third cooking segment. We're going to let the other two handle that, but okay. is it going to get messy in here? I hope so. You hope? I do too. <laughs> throw, you know, throw whatever you want to at them. They, those two can handle anything, I promise. We're going to get started on that New Orleans barbecue shrimp coming up. We're going to talk more about taste of the beach coming up as well. So you guys, I'm, we're going to get messy in here. Y'all are going to get messy in here, not, not me. Back in the kitchen with Dennis and Chase from Flounders. I get the best cooking segment today because this is when we're going to be cooking it up. Well, actually, I guess tasting is the best, but I'm going to come back and just do right. some. I mean, you can't, you can't stop me when we got some New Orleans barbecue shrimp. What's the process here? What do we need to do next, guys? All right, we've cleaned and deveined these uh, shrimp. These are fresh head-on shrimp. Uh, you don't get served fresh head-on shrimp a lot, to be honest with you. Right, you and do it, not. It is a sign of freshness because you don't freeze them. The head falls off if you freeze them, things like that, so you know it's fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I've peeled them in the middle, left the head and the tail on, deveined them, and I've seasoned them with some salt and pepper. We're going to go in a, to a medium-high sauté pan. Sauté literally means to jump around. Okay. Um, so... High heat, a little bit of fat. You make sure your pan's nice and hot, like you have. I have a blend of uh, a little bit of canola oil and butter mixed together because that butter has a uh, low flash point and it'll burn on you. Mm. All right, so we're going to start these shrimp in this pan. Uh, we're not going to fully cook these shrimp right now. We're going to finish cooking these shrimp when we make the sauce. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. All right, so we're going to put these shrimp in here. There's going to be a little, little moisture coming out of the heads and things like that. Mm -hmm. like I said we do not want to. Overcrowd this pan, so we're going to go about like that. We'll make these in a couple batches. Like I said, we're not going to fully cook these. Um, well, while you while you get that going, tell us a little bit more about Flounder. Um, it's a seafood restaurant on Pensacola Beach. Um, we're located right across uh, from the main traffic light in Casino Beach, where the Taste of the Beach is actually being held this weekend. Sure. And um, we're a really large restaurant, um, live music on the weekends, uh, outdoor, indoor seating, and a nice boathouse. So a little bit of every different temperature that you would want. I mean, we serve a lot of uh, seafood, shrimp, um, oysters, steaks, chicken, so a little bit of variety of everything. Now, if I'm heading out to Flounders, can I go in sandals? There's a little more, more 
formal or what were we looking at for atmosphere? Um, it's pretty informal. Um, usually like towards casual, but it's so out. Um, it really, the back opens up to beach volleyball court and eventually the beach. So you have everything from people dressed up in groups going out to dinner to people who just spent the day on the beach coming up, grabbing a table, getting a bite to eat before they either go back out or go home for the day. So basically everyone's welcome. Yes. Come one, come all. I like that. All right. How do you know when to flip them here? What were you looking uh, for? Like you said, we're not going to fully cook those. Yeah. We want to get a little color on them. We want to sear them. Uh, I think the biggest people uh, mistake people make when they're cooking shrimp is to overcook shrimp. Okay. It, it's got to be on the borderline of not cooked and cooked. All right, because if you've ever had rubbery shrimp, they're chewy, they're just mm -hmm. overcooked. Now, I've devained these. They're going to cook a little faster. You can see how they're opening up nicely. Yeah. Um, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to partially cook these because we're going to make a sauce and we're going to let them simmer in the sauce for a minute. Um, so I'm going to take these out in one second. I just want to get some color on them. I'm going to put this other batch in. Um, we will add a, right at the end, I don't want to burn this garlic. Mm -hmm. So we'll add a little garlic at the end right now. And I think this just uh, fortifies the flavor a little bit. And we'll go ahead and add some rosemary too, just to get that in the shrimp a little bit, because that's uh, a big part of the sauce in barbecue shrimp is the rosemary in there. And garlic burns quickly too. That, that's Correct. why you said you added Correct. it at the end. I got gotcha. you. that at the end. Sounds good. Well, I tell you what, when we come back, we're working on uh, the sauce. We'll finish up this dish. We'll tell you more about Taste of the Beach. Need to get you out there this weekend. It's going to be fantastic. And we'll do that all in just a little bit, ladies. And Flounder's executive chef Dennis Moore have things sizzling here in our kitchen. We're making some shrimp. And if you want to see some big shrimp, look at those shrimp. TV doesn't even do them justice. I wish you guys could see them in person. These are huge. Where do you get these? Uh, we actually bought these at Joe Patty's. Uh, they're southern gulf shrimp. Yeah, right over uh, just Pensacola. A nice, correct, just a nice head on shrimp. Um, along in the cooking process, we've cooked these shrimp about halfway. We've taken them out of the pan. I've deglazed with a little, uh, a little beer. Uh, this recipe is all about reduction. It's not a hard cooking process, but it's all about concentration of flavors. So as we add each ingredient, we're going to reduce that till it's almost gone, and that concentrates all those flavors. So you can use any beer you like. We use you know, one of our red ales. Uh, Guinness works really good. Any dark beer works really good. I put a little garlic in there. So now we've reduced that beer uh, till it's almost gone. And this is a local beer, by Correct. the way. McGuire's. McGuire's, our restaurant group. Um, next, we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. We're going to add quite a bit of it because that's the base of the flavor on this. We're going to turn the heat all the way up, and we're going to reduce that down. Um, we're going to continue reduction. Uh, we're going to reduce the Worcestershire. Then we're going to add heavy cream and reduce that. We're going to finish with lots of rosemary, black pepper, butter, and a little bit of shrimp stock. Okay. Okay. How long does this need to reduce? Uh, uh, 30 seconds or so. Oh. I got it cranked all the way up. All right. Um, that's nothing. Oh. Well, now you're going to turn it yeah, off. No, you can't have that. I had problems with this stuff last time. I'm not sure. That third door. So. <laughs> that's all right. We'll get it going. It'll get right. sizzling again. Chase, in the meantime, I want to talk about a lot of food just like this this weekend, Saturday and Sunday on Pensacola Beach. Yes, it's going to be a really good time. It's uh, actually this time of year is one of my favorites. We've gotten through the super busy tourist time this summer, and now they always call this like the local time of the year. Um, so this weekend, Taste of the Beach. Saturday, Sunday, 11 to 4. Carla Hall, she'll have her guest uh, cooking demonstration at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be free kids' events. There's no admission, no fees on Saturday and Sunday, so it's free to the public. Everybody can come out. And if you like food, it's really cool just because you can try a bunch of different types of food from all the different restaurants and still keep it under a budget because everything's under $5, and it's just a really good time of year. Um, new this year, we're going to have a football tent, so don't be afraid. You're not going to miss any of your and you can come out, enjoy some food, and still step into the tent, have something to eat, and keep up with what's going on. College on Saturday and then Sunday for the NFL. All right, you guys have everything taken care of, and you're going to be making, um, I believe I heard you say, seafood nachos we and, and uh, key lime pie. Our key lime pie. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be good. So a lot of food like that. Saturday and Sunday, Pensacola Beach, again, five bucks and under. This recipe is on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page. Things are really going now. You added the cream, more pepper. We added the rosemary. Um, we're going to let this get just a little bit thicker. We're going to put our shrimp back in here. Even though these shrimp are partially cooked, they are head-on shrimp. So we want to make sure the heads are cooked. That's about where I want it now. Okay. Um, there, if you look at the recipe online, it also calls for shrimp stock, which I've made. And the shrimp stock is for adjusting, adjusting the consistency of the sauce. If it's too thick, add a little stock. Okay. All right, if not, reduce a little more. All right, now, so I'll, we'll <laughs> add that next. And we're running short on time, so we'll keep this going, and then we'll show you how everything turns out when we come back from break. I just sucked up a little bit of that Worcestershire sauce. <laughs>